Okay, so we're going to look at modding the Hubson transmitter, the uh, H501S uh, transmitter. I bought a little kit from from abroad just to allow us to uh, make the alterations. Got a standard uh, tail there and a Gordon DBI high gain SMA 5.8. Uh, gigahertz transmitter. Uh, those will be uh, the one on the left and the one on the right. This one to the quad itself, and uh, this one to uh, to receive data uh, to the to the screen. So, without further ado, let's take it apart and see if we can get this done. So, there are four screws on the back. Uh, we just need to undo those. So, obviously. I'll try and talk all the way through this, but if I can't, oh, I'll put some music on. And there we go. I'm going to keep that with the screws in because I'm the bugger for losing screws. So I'm going to put that to one side face up so that the screws don't fall out so when he comes to put it back together again it just makes life a little bit easy. well easier I should say okay so here we go uh, the transmitter I'm replacing is this fella here and this fella here okay so first thing I need to do is to uh, remove them so I don't damage them because I'm going to keep them you never know they might come in useful for something else uh, I need to pop off these little connectors here and here Okay, so uh, to do that, they're actually capped on, so you can lever them up. So, what you need to do is very gently get hold of them. Obviously, you can't see much there, but I'm going to try and sort of gently, gently pop it off just by lifting this little bit up here, and there we go. You'll see that that's just just taking itself off. Okay, it's a little cap that allows you to um, just pop it back on. And obviously, the one I'll be replacing it with is going to have the same. So I'll do the same on the other side. So it's very gently. I'm just using a, a, a very small flathead screwdriver. Let's just try and find a bite point and then gently lever it up. There we go. You can't damage the actual point that it's going on to. Now, I've noticed here there's quite a bit of glue that they've used to hold it in. I've got my glue gun, which is uh, currently dribbling onto my desk, but that's fine. It will, it's very easy to tidy up. So let me just get a scalpel so I can uh, cut some of the glue away. This is one of my my modelling knives. So just cut that away from there without damaging the actual unit itself. Now, are these attached with any? I can't see anything, so let's just cut away the glow. If it does get boring, I promise I will speed up the area. There we go. Okay, so that's just that little transmitter. Comes up very easily. Actually, I was overthinking that. It didn't need to be um, uh, deprived away quite so, quite so harshly. Right, so that's that one off. And I would imagine, yeah, that one is exactly the same. Just held in there with a bit of uh, a bit of glue. So I'm going to put that to one side. Um, again, no reason to throw them away. They make them useful for something else. I'm just going to clear up what was left behind just because I don't like leaving the mess. So that's my gun cough. Now, these are the leads I'll be putting in, tiny little fellas. I've got the same end that we've just taken off and the same, or oh, a 
contact section that we need to put through. So to get this through, obviously, the Hubson has multiple entry points uh, on the side and on the top. I'm going to be using the top two, so I'll be going in here and here. So you'll need to drill roughly the same size uh, as the as the antenna that you're going to be putting in now. I have got a box set of drills and the way I found, the easiest way I found to do it was take one of the locking nuts off the top and I went through my drills until I found the first one that wouldn't go through the locking nut. So obviously that tells me that when I drill this hole, that entry point will be fine but the locking nut will bite on. Well that's the theory. I'm just about to do it so um, wish me luck. Right. Now if you think I'm being dangerous I apologise for that. I am actually wearing glasses so that should be fairly safe. Let's Okay, that did take me a little bit by surprise, but post behind it, so no harm. And looking at the other side, it's exactly the same deal. So I'm just going to do this one. Sorry, it's just that would help if I took the plastic off the end that's already formed. Position. Now, just a word of warning, I am by trade an electrician and everybody watching this is going to say, what an idiot, drilling into his hand and not putting it in a vice and all that sort of nonsense. Uh, I completely 100% agree with you. I am an idiot and I shouldn't have done that, but let's not cry over spilt milk, okay? So we have our holes ready to go. So we can put our antenna in, or antenna leads, I should say. So on mine, there's a locking nut and a gripper as well. So they're both exactly the same, so it won't matter which one goes in where. So I'm just going to work that one in Oops, over the other side. Just give me one second. Let's get on down as far as it will go. might need to be a fraction bigger. Let's just do it the easy way to make sure it doesn't need to be widened. So give me two secs. Well, that might actually turn in. But that's too much like hard work, so let's just widen it. Right, let's try that again. There we go. Now, what you can do is, if it's a little bit snug, once you put your locking ring on and push it up as far as it will go, you can use the locking ring to actually hoik it into place. So, I'm going to do is give that a go. I know these are a little bit dainty, these are my modelling uh, on those pliers. Oh, 
Fiddly. And then why would we want it easy? Try and gently try and wiggle it through a little bit more, trying not to strip the thread off it. Locking washer on, locking nuts. thing to do is pop the connector on so I'm just going to line it up I'm going to probably just pop it on with finger pressure Now you can't see what's going off on screen, off screen, but I'm, uh, I'm going to put on my uh, modelling glasses out. I can zoom in on the damn thing. There she goes. Right, now, these fellas are, although quite firm, I'm going to be using the hot glue to sort of hold them in place, um, just just for a belt and braces approach towards it. Hopefully, this one won't take as long. seconds right okay so that's all I did is just put my my modeling glasses on so I could zoom in onto the spot and uh, work on it a little bit easier that's it that's the mod and put the back on again probably find I'll, uh, I'll fast forward through those sort of bits um, one of the things uh, I 
I found out is these, I made a little video at the beginning, these, these screws are a pig, really really tough to, uh, to undo so, uh, so just be patient and uh, oops, um, make sure you line them up right, uh, be patient and just allow quite a bit of, quite a bit of give on it And we're done. And there we go. So put that filler on there. Probably have a lot of that. This one. that and there we go so uh, yeah all done modded hopefully it works and uh, if it does there'll be another video later okay thanks for watching